Hi you guys, this lesson is on section 6.8, which is graphing absolute value equations. Um, we already touched that on that earlier, but again, absolute value, when you graph it, is going to come out to a V. Uh, so you can see I have an example here. This is what I call the perfect V, if it's Y is equal to absolute value of X. Your origin is on 0, 0, and then your slope just goes perfect 1 or um, negative 1. So it goes up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and that's your perfect V. Here's a couple things you might need for the future, um, but I won't go into detail because it's not in this chapter. If you put a negative in front of the absolute value sign, it will make your V go upside down. Okay, so you can see this is a positive, it goes up, negative, absolute value of X, and goes down. And again, the negative is outside of the absolute value. If you put a 3 in front of the X, that's like putting that slope. Remember the Y equals MX plus B, M is your slope. If I make it 3, it'll make it steeper, and you can see it's a steeper V or skinnier V. And if I change the slope to one half or a fraction, it'll flatten out your V and you can see that it goes a little flatter than the perfect V. Okay, so there's some things, um, some bonus information for you guys. Okay, translations. Translations is when you slide it. So you can slide the V up or down along. You can see I kept the perfect V here, but I can slide it up or down on the X axis or X axis going left or right or up, up and down on the Y axis. Okay, um, so here's an example. Y is equal to the absolute value of X, and then plus 2 on the outside. I did an XY table for you here, and if you put a negative 2 in there, you get 4, negative 1, 3, 0, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 4. You can see if you put a plus 2 on the outside, it slides or translates that perfect V up 2 units. Okay, so plus 2 means it goes up 2. I did another example here was absolute value of X minus 3. Here's my XY table. My vertex, you can see, is going to be 0, negative 3. That means it slid down or translated down 3. So negative 3 here means it goes down 3 units. Okay, it keeps that perfect V, but it just goes up and down. When you write an absolute value, and I'll do it like this so you can't see. When you write an absolute value, equation for vertical translation going up and down. If they say write the equation uh, for the absolute value translating up 8 units, all you write is your y is equal to absolute value of x and then you just, because it's up 8, you just put plus 8. Okay. If it's down 4, it's going to be pretty simple. You just go down 4. Makes sense. That's your B. This is your B or your Y intercept. Because, again, it's outside of the absolute value. Okay? Homework check number one is write the absolute value equation for, an, for a translation going down seven units. Okay? Down seven units. Should be pretty quick. Horizontal translations. Now we're going to go left and right. Okay? Um, so I gave you an equation. Y is equal to the absolute value of X plus 2. But this time you can see... The plus 2 is inside of the absolute value. Okay? When I start doing my XY table, when I do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, you can see I only come out with part of a graph. I know that I should get a V. Okay? And I know it's going to be a positive V because it's a positive absolute value, which means I got to keep going to my left with my X coordinates until it starts going back up. So if I go to a negative 3 and I put a negative 3 in there, I can see it's going to be a 1. And now I can see that it's going back up because there's my 1. And negative 3 would go 1 here. And then if I go negative 4, I would get my 2. And I can see that there's my V. Okay, so keep going until you get that V. And you need two more dots going upwards. And if you look at this, if I went X plus 2 inside, I actually went opposite. In the other one, when it was plus 2 on the outside, it went up 2 because positive 2. This one is opposite. It actually went left two units. Okay, so be careful with this one. When it goes inside, it's opposite. Same thing here. If I go x minus 3 inside, so again, the minus 3 is inside of the absolute value. When I keep going, you can see that I don't have enough. So if I go to 3, then I get 0, and now it's on here. When I go 4, now I get my 1, and you can see that I'm going back up. Okay, And then I go 5, and I get a 2. So in this one, I had to go a little more 
to the right. You can see I went one, two, three. I went right three units. Okay, so be careful with um, vertical. The plus two on the outside went up two, but the plus two on the inside for horizontal actually goes left. It goes opposite. And again, minus three goes to the right. Okay, so here's a couple of writing equations now. So you can see um, writing absolute value equations if I'm going left and right. If I go left five, I go y is equal to absolute value of x. And then left five, I would think would go negative five this way, but it's actually opposite. Okay. Right four would be x minus four, because opposite. Right six, so I'm just trying to do some extra ones for you guys. Right six, if you think about it, it would be x minus six, good. And then left nine would be x plus nine. Okay. That's how you do those. Uh, before I show you the homework check, here's another one. What if I have vertical and horizontal translation, so both? So this is this will check your understanding of it. If I go up 3 and write 2, when I write this, the up 3 I know goes on the outside. There is my up 3. Oops. My right 2 needs to go inside. And again, it's opposite, so it be x minus 2. Okay, and there's my equation. If I do up 6, y is equal to absolute value of x something, and then up 6 means plus 6. There's my up 6. And when I go left 4, that means I got to go plus 4. Okay, so this is how you write your equations. Here's another one, down 5, right 8. So I'm going to go y equals x minus 8 minus 5. There's my right 5, there's my down 5. And then here's my last one. y is equal to absolute value of x. Down 7 means minus 7 over here. Left 1 means um, plus 1. Okay, That's how you do those. I put these under here on these two so you can see and then these ones just writing, writing it out. Okay, So here's your Homework check number two. Please write the equation, the absolute value equation for this graph. And I'm trying to make it very clear so you can see it. Okay, that's what you have to do for tonight. And that's 6.8. Take care.